Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. You can see here an old white barn with uh, beautiful mountains and a lake. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. You have subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see here the materials that I'm going to use for this tutorial. You can see the five minute colors, the process that we need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to start with a little sketching. Okay, so, so everyone, my background is a little noisy. Okay, so I'll be using the number three nylon, number, number two nylon flat brush. Okay, so I'll do a little sketching. Okay, so I'm going to start now. Here, so I have the row umber. I'm going to put first the, the horizon. So I'm going to put it on the uh, lower side of my canvas, the horizon. I want the painting to be look more flat. So this will be my river. And here I will put the barn, the white barn at the center. So maybe here I'll try to do a little sketch. Okay. Okay, so it will be something like this. Yeah, and then reflection. It will be just a easy, simple painting. And here I'll try to put some mountains. It will be huge mountains here. And here I'll try to put a cliff here. Another huge cliff. And I want it to dark covering some parts of the mountain. And some pine trees here. I want it to be really huge covering this part of the mountain. Some rocks here. Yeah, it will be just simple. And maybe here, I'll try to put some pine trees also. So it will be just a simple uh, landscape, everyone. And I want to make the uh, barn on the center. Okay. Now I'm going to start now. I'm going to start adding some uh, background color first, the underpainting. So I'll be using the bigger brush, which is number 12, number flat brush. Okay. So I have here the, the blue. I want my background to be really good blue. Like it is in the morning, the morning blue. Yeah, maybe I'll just have to make it plain everyone. I don't want to put any clouds there but here I'll try to make it light on this part a little lighter I'm not sure maybe later I'm going to put, put some clouds there Okay, 
Okay, so we have now the sky. I like the blue sky, and we're gonna put the background colors. Of that. I want it, this mountain to be really near, without any mist. I want it to be clear. So here I have some blue and the red to make some purple. A little white there. There. These are really nice colors. You can put a little red. So later on we're gonna retouch these mountains because sometimes I don't like to use this big brush. It has a very not good. So I'll just cover it here. I'll just cover the sketch of my uh, barn. to make a little lighter color here so that I I can see some a little light mist or the misty color or the lighter color that uh, from the light okay there and then the other one no I think I'm going to start putting some uh, I think uh, reflection now. So here I have some uh, almost the same color. I'm blend the center here, but later I'm going, uh, I'll just put some. White color, uh, white line there. There, and then I will try to apply a little darker bottoms. So just use the darker purple everyone here on the bottom part. That's it. Now I'm going to do it again. Uh, this time a little darker and a little blue color so it will be here there sorry everyone I told you my, my new studio is in it's really near in the and in the main road or in the highway so you, you need to expect some plenty of distractions in the background uh, background noises cars 
I think I am just uh, 15 meters or 20 meters from the from the main road. So here I will just try to put the dark reflections. Just blend it down. And here I will I will use a smaller brush, the number eight Ellen Pratt brush. Here, it's a medium size flat brush of one, and I'm going to add. Like the color here on the purple. This time it will be a lighter. There. So we can see the distant mountain. Okay. There. Yeah, that looks good. And now I'm going to try to retouch this mountain here because I don't like it. So I'll just use this dark color here, but I'll just blend it with a lighter. So it's a little dark. So I'm going to add a little white. I want, it to, I want this to be really, I uh, want this to be like a rocky mountain. There. here I'll just cover it here later on with the pine trees so it doesn't matter in this part I'll just cover here with the pine trees huge pine trees okay so we have now these mountains yeah I'll try to put some highlights here but I'm going to use a smaller brush I'm going to use a, the smaller flat brush going to just use a plain white and my light coming from the left part here but almost in the front but left part so I'll try to put some snow here some white snows Just a pure white everyone, use it and then just blend it a little and then you can, it's good to go. Okay, yeah that looks good, you can see now some distant mountain there. And now I'm going to start uh, adding details on this mountain. So this not wet first I'm going to put the the rocky colors uh, rocky cliffs so just roll umber everyone with some white there yeah I want this I want the eyes to be melted or we cannot see so much ice here just a little ice, uh, not so much ice. There. 
there. So just just throw umber and white everyone and then it's good to go. So I want to I want to put some cliff here. Uh, some some slides or so we can also put later on the some small or some some vegetations or some trees or forest there okay Okay, now I'm going to add a little darker, a little darker with the blue color, yeah, the umber and the blue and the white. So this time it will be on the back side. Yeah. So there were also clips on the box, but this clips doesn't hit by the light directly, so will remain dark or brownish Now it's time to put some eyes. So first I'm going to put the highlights with this white. Uh, okay, you can just use plain white for that. Make sure you clean your brush. Okay, first I'm going to use a plain white. So here, I'm going to put some snows. There. 
there. Okay. There. Okay, you can see now some snow. And also here, I will try to put some white. It's in heat by the lights. there okay i don't know what it will look like in the for everyone but i will try to check yeah it looks good okay look like that there are plenty of snows there in the rocky land in the rocky mountains i'll see here I can put a little here more. They are actually melting or something. Okay, now I'm going to mix for a lighter blue for the uh, back part, which is a uh, not, not hit by the lights. I'm going to put a little red. To light the blue. Okay. Okay, you can make it a little much more darker. I don't know what's this. people are laughing there outside. There. So I can see now those darker parts are not hit by the lights. There. Okay. And also, I'll try to put here. For everyone. I don't know what's, what kind of motorcycle they have. Okay. 
people laughing there. I don't know why they're laughing so hard. Okay. Okay, so the snow now I can see clearly. There. And I'm going to add more highlights. Actually, here. So we can see now clearly that these eyes are melting. Yeah, and it looks good. Yeah. So far I like it. Yeah, maybe I'll try to put some some forest also on the bottom part. But I want it to be looking like dark. The dark trees there. Yeah. I don't want to make it very obvious colors. So I want it to be dark. I want I don't want to put highlights on those trees. Okay, so I'm going to start now. I'll be using a smaller brush here for the forest. Uh, it's a number eight nano flat brush. It's a medium size uh, flat brush. So I have here the blue and the red for the blue umber. Oh no, for the purple, for the lighter purple. I'm going to add some more. smaller around because it's far pine tree forest I don't know why why these people laughing so much so this is a forest here I'll just cover some parts of them. Okay. I don't know what happened to these people. There, so you have now some pine trees. I want will put a little but it to be a little lighter on the top. Maybe I'll just retouch here later on. I'll put some cliff here, but it'll be darker. There. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll try to put some pine trees. Some distant trees, everyone. Sorry, about 
That's why I like to paint in the night. <laughs> So you can also see some small trees there in the distance. Okay, I think that looks good now here. Maybe I'll try to, I will just retouch here later on everyone after I finish everything here. Because I don't want to waste my time making good things here, but I'll just delete. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, use this red and the umber. Uh, the one burn blue and red. So here, I'll just, I'll just put some cliff. There. Okay. I'll try to put also some darks. Yeah, here. I'm not using any black, everyone. There. And maybe here I'm gonna put some rocks. But I'm gonna do it later on. First, I'm going to retouch this one. Maybe I'll just try to put some pine trees. Okay, that looks good. We have now uh, some big, big uh, mountain here, and here it is all very, very open. Okay. So everyone, I don't know what happened. People. So I will be using a new brush now. So I think my brush is uh, not so good. Okay. using other brush everyone here a new brush and I will try to uh, start painting the 
white bar okay so it's uh, 35 minutes now I want this part to to be really glowing in colors. Run around a little pig. There. I'm gonna make the roof uh, brown. So I have the raw umber, the red, and the yellow. I'm going to prepare for that Okay So I'm going to make it straight There Okay, so I'm going to add some yellow and red Strip like barn. <laughs> and on the sides, everyone, it will be a little grayish or dark. So here I have the raw umber. Um, I have the blue, red, and the white. There's no lights here, so it should be dark. There. And then I'm going to also use this. I'm going to mix darker colors. So you can just use the red and the blue one for the purple. the smaller brush so I'm 
Let's go here. Combine the colors here. There. Yeah. It's really a big bar. Wait, I'm going to retouch on the background. Yeah, it's really noisy here, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully, I will transfer my studio later on. I can transfer. So that will be a better studio, everyone. I think my studio before was better than this. <laughs> I just transfer lately. Okay, so on the bottom part, I'm going to put some rocks here or some some plants. Maybe also cover some parts. Cover with vegetations or some pine trees maybe I'll just put some one pine tree here yeah maybe here okay that would be good there so I think it's still right yeah so I'm going to put some something here yeah maybe here I'll try to retouch adding some colors on the cliff so I'll be using a smaller brush again. This is the number eight flat brush, uh, number two flat brush. And I have the row or lumber. Mixing with a little blue. There, blue and white. I'm going to add some more white. And here I'm gonna put some cliff, but it should be of color everyone, meaning dark. Because there's no light here, so I I should it should remain dark here in this part. It's kind of cliff here on the sides. There, and I'm gonna put a little greenish there, but not so much, just a little greenish. So here, yellow and the blue. And the romber. More blue and the romber. Yeah, it should be much more bluish because this is a little distance from us. It should be a little lighter. I am using a bigger brush. So here there's a little vegetation on the top. There. There. Sorry everyone, there's some noise in there. <laughs> So here I'm gonna put a little greenish there. Okay, so I, I want this that mountain everyone to be really dark. Uh, maybe some colors on the pine trees. Yeah. A little colors there. Some greenish. Okay. And also here, one maybe later I'm gonna put greenish color. I don't know, not later, but now. I'll be using the smaller brush, number eight, number eight brush. I have here, I'm going to put just a much more yellow green and then white. So, here, everyone, you can just use the 
Trapping teknik Make sure that it's not wet. So these are pine trees on the distance. Okay, not so much light also. It's very really noisy here. Okay, yeah, that looks like a distant pine trees. And it looks good, yeah. It's now 47 minutes, and so far, it, everything looks pretty good, yeah. And I can see that the light's coming from this part there. Okay. Okay, so I can see that the light is coming from this part. The tracking here. Yeah, it's, this is a bit of light, but it's fine. Okay, so I think I'm going to start putting some uh, water reflections first here. Or maybe here, outside to retouch. I will try to put some doors or, yeah, doors or windows. So I want to put the brown door. So blue, amber, yellow, and red. And white, maybe a brown door will be good. Uh, it will be in the center. Also here, okay. I'm not sure it's not so, yeah. And then I'm gonna put some light brown to put some highlights here. There. And also on the top. Okay. I'll try to put some tiny details for this roof. Some lights, darks. There are some lights and there are some darks there. I'll try to put some uh, plain blue umber. So that it will look dark. Maybe I will try to put more highlights. More white here. There. OK. 
Okay. And then some shadows, everyone. I should not forget some shadows here. So, let's try to unburn the dark colors. The window. So another shadow on the door. So this door is uh, open twice, uh, like that, not twice. <laughs> So here in the back part, I can put more uh, windows on the sides, I mean. Yeah, that looks better. And then I will try to put using this color. It's a lighter purple, everyone. I'm going to put some shadow here. And then also, of course, here. There. Okay, at least uh, I can see a real shadow on that part of the uh, barn. And I think the barn looks really good, and I, I like the contrast of these colors. Yeah, it's 53 minutes, and I'm still on this part, but I think to be be worth it I'll try to put some white here some white lines on the on the river or, or the lake I think oh, this is the lake come okay, just a pure white everyone I'll just put it here I'm using a number a lighter brush number one I can use zero double zero No, it looks like there's a distant river there. Okay, so we to continue here. I'm going to put some uh, reflections first here using uh, I think a bigger brush, number eight, flat brush. I'll try. I want this water to be really looking still. So here I have some white mixing with a uh, uh, light purple. So here I will try to put some reflection, reflecting the ice or the snow. Just uh, downward strokes, everyone. Uh, I don't want it to be lighter. You can do like that, just uh, downward strokes. Just copy a little on the what you see in the top. Yeah. 
uh, even if it's not perfectly copied everyone but just make it look like this and it will look like realistic and also here I want to put it here it should be perpendicular and I will start now putting some uh, details here I'm going to put some dark colors oh, no, I mean highlights sorry bro. I'll be using the same brush number 8 and brush brush raw umber red and the yellow yeah I'll try to make it much more like flesh orange or yellowish brown some rocks, soils, or whatever can find it here. Okay, yeah. It's now browns. And of course, I need to put also some some uh, some plants here. Yeah, I'll be using the bristle flat brush number ten, and I have here the blue and the yellow. Just uh, tapping technique, everyone. There. I'm going to put some more yellowish. Yes, everyone, some tapping technique. Maybe in the back part. Okay. 
Okay. I want it to be a little lighter. So I want this part to be really high in contrast. Sometimes contrast everyone between light and dark will, be, will make uh, your painting much more successful. Okay. Sometimes exaggeration will make it better. Yeah, so far it looks good. It looks exaggerated, but I think that looks good. It looks uh, pretty nice. It looks realistic there. Okay, so next will be the, of course, the reflections. Yeah, I'm gonna try the reflections there. I'm gonna put more greens on the reflections. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to continue again. I'll try to put some reflections now everyone using a small brush here. The number two nylon flat brush. So first I'm gonna put the darker reflections, blue, yellow, and the romber. It's much more looking greenish. Brush is wet. There. And then I'll try to use the browns. So just uh, can also try to use uh, can also drag it downward everyone like this but make sure that it's always the same on the things that you copied above Try the umber and the blue. This is a raw umber and the blue color one. There. So it's now looking dark. And then we should not forget the highlights. So I will try the brown and the white, the raw umber and the white. There. Just copy what you see on the top everyone and put it down. Yeah. And a little here. Also on the roof. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll try to put the light greens. Yeah. So 
So here we are, I'm going to put uh, the light green. The reflection of the plants and the vegetations. But I want it to be uh, same lighter, same light. Looking a very nice realistic water reflections, I like it. Okay. It looks not so dark but I think it's it's fine. Okay. Yeah, that looks good now. Okay, I'm not yet done. It's one hour and seven minutes. I need to Yeah, I think this part here I will try to put some uh, some uh, reflection again but I'll be using number uh, medium size brush number 8 nano pot brush so here I have the blue and the red and the white a little red Just drop it down everyone, like this. There. But I want it to be a little greenish. So I will try to put some blue umber. can see that it's a very good nice reflection okay very nice okay so I'm going to add some pine trees there so maybe here I'll try to put one here pine tree here and then another pine trees here another huge pine trees so I will mix for darker colors now. Red and then blue, then amber. A little yellow. So here. This will be a backyard pine tree. There. Yeah, maybe two will be enough. One will be a little smaller. Okay, 
So later we're going to put the highlights there on that pine trees. And then I'm going to put another pine tree, but this will be uh, bigger and darker. Yeah, I'll just want to cover this part here, bro. Maybe I will use the fan brush now. So here I have the fan brush. I'm gonna use this one. Uh, red and the blue, a little yellow, a uh, little amber. Can you use the tip of the fan brush if you want. I think it's a picker for this. Yeah, that's fine. On the tip part, uh, you can use the the other one Okay, row and burn the blue and the red. As you can use the flat brush here if it's hard for you. Actually, my fan brush is not so good for this. It's uh, too big.
yeah. Okay, I'll just retouch that. Okay, so here I'll try to put some greenish. Try to put some greenish and other things. So yeah, you have to uh, yellow, red, and a little, a little blue, and more, more yellow and red. So I can put some grasses. And then I'll try to finish this part. Maybe I'll put a rock here, big rock. We're using uh, raw umber with a little dark here. put some brownish hair colors for the soils or rocks but I don't want to put so much highlights here because I want to emphasize this part I want this part to be the center of any attention I want that to be the focus I just want to be put a little highlights for the raw umber. Oh no, it's also here. There. Okay. And also, I need to put some highlights on these trees. So I'll be using a smaller brush now. I have the raw umber, white, yellow, red, and the raw umber. And now I'll start, I'll start putting some highlights on the pine trees. So I have here the blue and more yellow. And then a little white. Just a white. Okay, just tapping technique everyone. There.
do not overdo it everyone just put it on the top of the dark colors Okay, and then I want to have a little darker. Need a more bluish color. I'll put it on the back part. Okay, those are very nice pine trees. And then I want to have a contrast, a very nice highlights there. So everyone, there are kids. I don't know what happened to this kid. I can't wait to transfer my studio everyone. <laughs> this community here is really, really nice. My room is, my room is not soundproof. So I'll try to put some more highlights, blue and uh, white. Okay. So I'll put some grasses. A little lights. There. Okay. So before I forget this part here, I should put a little highlights. I'll just use this small brush, everyone. A little brown. Okay, and then some darker greens. Okay. So a little retouch and I think I'm done. Creepy one. So I'll just try to retouch my rocks.
gitu ya Oke okay, what else So maybe in the shadows Here Ito ba yung shadows everyone? Okay, yeah. So I I think I'm done now. So it I finished for one hour and twenty seven minutes, and I think it's really worth it. I want to put something light here to make it. Yeah, maybe that will be my my last retouch. So here I have blue and white and the red to make it light purple. Not so bright, everyone. And to put some light here. There. Okay, there. So that will become much more realistic. Uh, water. Okay, everyone. So I think I am done. So I am very pleased uh, for the result. It's really good. I like the contrast of colors there, the depths. So yeah. So I am contented and I'm very happy with the entire result. And I can see that it's really, really good. Okay, so maybe I'm going to make the the highlights or the reflection of the barn lighter but I will do it offline you can also do, see the final result on the on the on the photo so I'm gonna put it here okay everyone so I wanna say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god bless you all all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.